Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Endless Runner. So in this one, we actually create a camera that follows our player around. So as you can tell right here, our camera is actually assuming the position of the player and then we have a offset that we give at the start. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna go choose our camera up here, so the main camera or any camera you want, and we're gonna make sure that this is tagged as main camera. Now this is going to be for a little bit later on, but I'm just make sure, making sure that we have this, um, of course, like I said, for a little bit later on. So the next step we need to do is add a new component, so we're gonna go ahead and create our new script right there. This is another way you can create a script, and we're going to say this is going to be called camera motor. Make sure that it is under C sharp and then I'll just put it inside the script folder. Now double click on it. We're going to open it up inside Mono Develop, and here is a brand new script for us to use. Okay so basically what we want to do is we want to create a script that um, is going to put our camera on top of our player then give it a certain offset. So the first step we'll need is actually have this uh, player as a reference. So what I will be doing is actually declaring up here a private transform look at. Now if you haven't realized just yet, the transform type is also a component that we see on every single game object. If I choose main camera, as you can tell up here, the first component you're going to see is a transform. Now what I'm really interested in is the player's transform and that is because the transform pretty much holds the position of the person or of the object I mean. So what I'd like this to be, this look at, I'd like this look at to be pointing toward this transform, the player transform. Not the directional light one, not the plane transform, the player. Now a way we can do this because our script is over here on main camera but the player transform is over there. The way we can do this is actually use the tag. So up here under player, we have the player tag. Under start, we can say game object dot find game object with tag. Now make sure this is the one with no S because you only want to have one game object and it takes in a string parameter, pretty much just the tag and our tag is player. So now this hold line should actually return us a game object. This game object, so the player game object. And now what we're really interested in is the transform. Now we could go ahead and just say dot get component of type transform like so, but Minty gives us a shortcut for transform because it is a um, it is a component you're gonna find on every single game object in the scene. So we can simply say dot transform like this. Okay, so this returns us a transform, but I forgot to actually say look at is equal to this. We get the transform, let's just make sure that we store it inside of our field that we've created up here. Okay, so now technically this look at field, this look at variable that we've created should be equal to this very transform, the one I'm clicking on right now. Not the one from the camera, not the one from the light, this one. And this is the one that moves when we press play, as you can tell. This is the player's position in Z. Okay, so once we've got that information, we can now go under the update and say transform. And this is our transform. This is actually the camera transform. This is the transform attached to this very object. And so the transform dot position, so the position of the camera is equal to look at dot position. So the position of the camera is now equal to the player's camera, I mean the player's position. Let's have a look in the game. Here is my camera right there. I don't know if you can tell, I'll just select it once more. Here it is. And in the game view, as you can tell, we don't really see the player and that's because it is actually below the player. So 
that's our problem right now. What we need to do is actually say, okay, so you position yourself on the player, but then give yourself a offset. So give yourself, say, um, minus in Z and then up in Y. So it actually looks like this. Now we could do that um, manually in the code, but what I'm going to do is actually just make sure we can um, quickly change that by changing the position of the camera in the editor. Now that sounds a little bit confusing, but just bear with me. We are going to declare a private vector tree that I call start offset. And what I'll say is in the start, start offset is equal to transform.position minus lookat.position. Now remember, this is being called when the game starts. So basically what happens is this vector tree is equal to the position of the transform to the, the camera right now. So right here, it's equal to 0, 1, minus 10, minus the position of the player. And this happens at the very, very start. So if I have to modify my camera, say we just, we put it like that, then we go under update and we say, okay, so the position of the camera is equal to the position of the player plus the start offset. Then we get a different result than what we had prior to that. Say so we hit play now. As you can tell, the camera didn't budge, but it's still following the player around. All right, so we're pretty much done with this part. So guys, if you enjoyed this or if you learned something, please leave me a like, really appreciate that. If you have any comment or question, you can leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next episode.